Up until two weeks ago, the famous Hackney Rabbit would have been lost forever under a coat of paint. But after a successful petition with over 2,000 signatures stopped the council from removing the famous artwork by Belgian artist Roa, the Hackney Rabbit is here to stay. Local residents' campaign group Wild Hackney has since taken further steps to ensure the local council doesn't threaten any more of Hackney's treasured works of street art. The people that live in and use the area, whether that's residents or businesses or people that just visit it, I believe are the people who are custodians of that street art. And so effectively, uh, when an artist comes and paints on our walls, um, we're very happy about it. But effectively, once they've moved on and, and walked away and left that there, that effectively be belongs to us. We become almost like curators of, of like a gallery in the urban environment. But that, that art, I believe, belongs to us. Hackney, like most cities, has a strict anti-graffiti policy. It's nothing that street artists aren't already used to. But street artists and enthusiasts such as Stephanie from website Vandalog say making art permanent goes against its very nature. Well, I think the problem with this is that it gives Wild Hackney itself, they become the gatekeepers of what is good street art and what isn't. Um, and they allow to say what should be allowed up in an area and what shouldn't. And this is a huge problem because it takes away the fundamentals of street art to begin with, is that it's supposed to be a non-permanent piece of public art. I think they would do a lot more harm preserving the art um, than getting, letting it getting rid of and letting it uh, fall as it needs to and be covered, uh, just because they're deciding what should stay and what shouldn't stay and which artists are worthy of being put up in, in public areas and which ones aren't. And that's not their job, that's no one's job. This is a perfect example where famous works of art like this one here by Roa have been left intact and where the local council has painted over the rest of the art using black paint. This Thursday, Wild Hackney is campaigning to stop instances like this from happening, but local graffiti artists are saying that a system of curation could start to take shape where the council determines which pieces of artwork stay and which ones go. Local residents, artists and the Hackney Council will meet to discuss ways to amend the current graffiti policy in a meeting later this week.